Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Today, I'm trying a bastardized version of a classic Irish dish that we Americans also bastardize, and it's a shepherd's pie. An authentic shepherd's pie is made from minced lamb, and an authentic cottage pie is made with minced beef. Most of us Americans use ground beef when we think we're making a shepherd's pie, but we're really making a cottage pie. But who cares whether you call it a shepherd's pie or a cottage pie, or what kind of meat you use, they're typically delicious, inexpensive, and filling. But Marie Callender's is now making a frozen dinner they're calling a shepherd's pie. But just by the ingredients alone in the Marie Callender shepherd's pie would make Gordon Ramsay lose his mind. That's right, Marie Callender's is making a chicken and bacon shepherd's pie, which contains chicken breast and bacon, with broccoli and a cheese sauce with mashed potato topping. So I guess the people at Marie Callender's think if you put mashed potatoes on top of any combination of meat and vegetables in a dish, it's called a shepherd's pie. Well, I'll say the ingredients don't sound bad, but a shepherd's pie or a cottage pie, it is not. But regardless of what Marie Callender's calls it, the important thing is whether it tastes good or not. This 11.7 ounce concoction costs $3.29. Marie Callender says, warm, hearty, and delicious. Comfort foods meals, you know and love, ready when you need them. Now I'm certainly not the right person to be giving grammar lessons, but wouldn't that make more sense if it said comfort food meals instead of comfort foods meals? I'm just saying. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong and that's the proper way to say it. Now here's the list of ingredients of everything that's in this shepherd's pie. And the only thing that really surprises me is the chicken is way down here. So if the ingredients are still listed from the most to the least, I'll bet the farm there's not going to be a whole lot of chicken in this. The serving size is the whole container of mashed potatoes, I mean shepherd's pie, which has 380 calories, 19 grams of total fat, 9 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 80 milligrams of cholesterol, 1,310 milligrams of sodium, 32 grams of carbohydrates, 5 grams of fiber, 4 grams of sugars, and 19 grams of protein. You can heat this up in the microwave or the oven. And since you, the people, always request I cook things in the oven, that's how we're cooking this shepherd's pie today. So let's get it out of the box and onto a cookie sheet. The directions say to remove the plastic film, and then it goes into a preheated 375 degree oven for one hour. After baking for one hour in a 375 degree oven, our chicken and bacon shepherd's pie is ready. And the potatoes look absolutely nothing like they do on the box. So once again, us, the consumers, have been catfished by another food company. So let's dig in and get a spoonful of the potatoes. And right off the bat, they look like a watery mess. But as we all know from time to time, looks can be deceiving. But at this point, I was being extremely optimistic. So into the old pie hole they went. And there was absolutely nothing at all deceiving about these potatoes. As Gordon Ramsay would say, they're watery and have absolutely no flavor. These mashed potatoes will make you appreciate your mother-in-law's mashed potatoes. So we dug in a little bit deeper and scooped out a really big piece of chicken. But not a really big piece of chicken, but considering the size of the meal, it's a pretty decent sized piece of chicken. The chicken in the shepherd's pie tastes just like it does in their pot pies. It's not great, but it's not horrible. It's definitely edible. Then we went in for another bite of soup. And I call it soup because it pretty much has the consistency of soup. And on this bite, I had the creamy gravy and broccoli, and I thought I had a piece of chicken, but it was a broccoli stem. There was no chicken in that bite. And there also wasn't a whole lot of flavor, and the broccoli was mush. But some people, like my brother, love mushy broccoli, but I loathe mushy broccoli. 
And as you can see, once we mixed it up, it looked more like cream of broccoli soup than it did a shepherd's pie. And as far as the bacon goes, what bacon? Maybe this batch didn't get the bacon because I sure couldn't taste any. We ended up getting one more decent sized piece of chicken and there were still a couple more little pieces of chicken left. But there wasn't a whole lot of broccoli. And like I said, I didn't taste any bacon. And it's very obvious the mashed potatoes didn't have any texture. And the whole meal just didn't have any flavor to it. And remember, it was cooked in the oven. Can you imagine how watery and soupy it would be if we cooked it in the microwave? This is a very bad idea for Marie Callender's because this meal is awful, which is why it's simply unrateable. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe, and share this video with your family and friends, and I'll see you soon.